You have to have power and a medical bay to give you a spawn point. If you don't have that, you can't get back to the base unless you walk or fly there. And if you don't have a craft to get to, that's not going to do you any good. So maybe I'll just go ahead and do that because I know the basic stuff I have in this area and where it's at. And everything's within two kilometers, two to four kilometers, so I can get to everything. Platinum being the biggest one. So let's go ahead. I mean, the whole thing is don't, don't get a server disconnect. <laughs> Uh, the beautiful part about this, there are batteries in here, so I can actually take apart the nuclear reactor right now. I'm going to take away, I already moved the uranium over here. I'm going to, the nuclear reactor, I'm going to go ahead and pull apart. And I can shut it down. You don't have to shut it down to do this, but in real life, you might want to shut it down for a disassembly. I just type in react or you know to find it and then I can toggle that off now the reactor is no longer powered as you can see it's got a red dot on the side well it'll be green which you'll see we'll turn that back on we bring it over and the timer block that's a whole different that'll be a whole different episode when that gets I still have to learn the timer I, I know the basics of it but I still need to I need to learn it so we're going to disassemble the nuclear reactor we're going to do it the exact same way. Um, the whole nuclear reactor, all the pieces and everything, is only using up 1,500 liters for volume. So not a huge deal for moving that. And then we're going to take this right in here. And then we're going to have to turn on our thruster. So we'll put it back over to our welder. And when we weld that back up, now the beauty for the power, as long as, as long as it's physically connected to the structure, it's almost like it has electrical wiring running through everything. So I now have power running through the station, and it's running through the the nuclear reactor. Anything that's touching has that. And when we disassemble the medical bay, you're going to see that. Um, that I'll, this will actually light up. And actually, if I put lights and everything over in here, which, you know what, I need to do. I have to get some lights put up in there, and that would actually make it a little bit easier to see in there, too. So I will have a light source to continue recording just for you. Uh, the batteries used to, if you used to tear apart the batteries, it was kind of nice. Uh, because the batteries would give up the power cells. Now, if you tear them apart, the, uh, power cells are destroyed and it becomes scrap metal I don't think I like that I don't mind them parts some of them being ruined but to lose them all kind of really stinks because they're kind of expensive to make and so I don't tear apart the batteries until I know I don't need power over here anymore the batteries should run for quite a while I'm not running there's a lot of things I'm not running and actually just go to the control panel air vent be turned off the assembler can now be turned off we're not assembling anything the batteries are all going to leave on oh not long that's what i named the ship was the not long because it's not going to be long here uh, but that's actually turned off the flight seat is still on because if i need to regenerate my suit's energy i need to have a place to do that so i'm going to leave that one up the gyroscope i can turn that off it doesn't require much power just 30 watts the interior lights i think are all turned off right now landing gear I kept those on because sometimes a shift it's a, it's a server issue can cause your ship to move and that can cause its own problems now there are LCD panels which you can leave messages they don't actually do much I don't think other than leaving messages It'd be nice if you could have tie that into the uh, the timer block and the programming block and stuff to actually generate other messages and maybe you can I just don't know uh, oh, I got the oxygen generator and the oxygen tank. Those two things are need to get moved over too. Um, but right now we're turning everything off so that way the batteries last as long as possible. The, yeah, the sliding doors, I got them open so they're turned off. But I don't see any power usage for those. And the timer block, that's all turned off. And the cargo container, I only have one left. I had two in here and there's only one left. So um, the medical bay is going to come down that's going to be the next thing and it's right here we're going to do this the same way the only thing is in here are medical components these are extremely heavy 
they will take up, a, or big, I should say, they take up a lot of volume. I'm pretty sure it's the volume that they take up and not so much the weight. We're going to find out. Um, and we're going to keep an eye on this because I'm already taking up 2,600. Let's see, all the medical components are now part of me, and I'm using up over... There, I've used up a third of my carrying capacity. Um, and like I said, if I keep cutting and if I hit the 4,000 mark... There we go, we're at 3,825. If I hit, the, then whatever's left will drop to the ground. So I'm not going to keep cutting it. I'm going to come over here, get my welder out, and then we're going to start... Oh, I need interior plates. Now, it it already put in the medical components, so the gist of the weight and everything is already in place. I just need the rest of it so I can continue building it. So the rest should be fairly easy. Uh, when you're on, you got things setting set to low. That's a huge, like I said, it is, it's difficult. A lot of trips back and forth. So the mainframe there, see, it's only, uh, it's about 1,200 units for the rest of it. And I do have a conveyor block in there, so I can actually take that, and bring that over, so I can start. I can even start having things uh, up and running, kind of how I want to lay out, how I want things to lay out. Energy now I've got enough. Oh, suit energy is low, so now I'll show you go ahead and recharge that, and I can do that one of two ways. I'll be able to do that through the medical room. So, as you can see, I've got. You got a yellow highlighted area around that and also there's one down here this is what i need to be able to come in and get to so if i just aim at this at the yellow as long as it's yellow and i press t energy low once i, I got a little server lag um, but uh if i if i hold down t it'll eventually fill that up you can see that i'm it's not as low anymore it's at 30 percent and the other way to do that is through the flight seat so but since I got batteries I'll be able to charge the ship the ship actually should run the flight sheet should tell me how much runtime I have left as long as I'm not flying if I try to fly it on batteries will definitely kill the kill the batteries uh, if you look over on the left hand side you'll see the energy is going up I'm at 63% I'm at 71% so as long as there's a power source connected to the seat I can actually regenerate the suits energy now fuel time just sitting here I'm not doing anything and it's not charging me anymore. It's 121 days, uh, but there's absolutely nothing really running on the ship right now. Now, ideally when I'm done, I will have disassembled the entire ship. Now I can just disassemble everything and then just throw everything in the cargo and build it at my leisure. But this way I know as I'm disassembling it, I know just what area to go to. Like the refinery, we'll take the, we'll take the refinery. We're gonna take that over with us. Make sure there's nothing in here. I don't like picking up after it and we're gonna start doing this and you can keep an eye on the bottom left hand side you can see the volume I might be able to get everything in one shot so there's nothing there's 27 there's three and we're down to the frame now there's th I'm down 3500 I don't have much space left there I'm at 3964 I almost got the whole thing that's gonna be really close when I get back over there and like I said, I only have one refinery on that ship. And that is a starter ship. This is the ship that will disappear if you try to spawn in another ship. So I'm going to try to not do that. And I don't consider that cheating. Um, because if you don't have a ship, there is no way to get things rolling. If you lose too much of something and you don't have enough to rebuild, you need a refinery, an assembler, and a power source. It's very important for that. All right. Most of my weight is in steel plates on this, and I don't have enough to build the whole thing. But I have enough to go pick up the rest. And then I'm going to have to turn the this refinery off, because I think it'll come automatically powered on. Oh, refinery's down here. All right, I now have the rest of the refinery. Let's see, is there any, what do I have in the assembler? I have plenty of things in the assembler. Can I take all this out? If I get everything out of here, how much volume does that leave me? That leaves me at, so I'm at 
1500 liters. I might be able to get the uh, the assembler out and take that with me. I think the oxygen is actually being held up by these other blocks. I hopefully it just doesn't come crashing down. So I'm going to take the assembler. Oh, didn't power it off. Now, if you do this in outer space, some of these things will have a minor decompression and will fling you. <laughs> Oh yeah, see it, it kicked my jetpack in, it, so there was decompression. And if you do that in outer space, it, you can go flying, and enough that it can kill you, which sucks. So at this point, I'm literally just going to be running back and forth. I'm going to do that with a few other things. Um, the reef, sorry, the assembler is second level, where it's at. And those like get your welder out, and you can see the right, it shows you what you're aimed at. I'm aiming at the assembler. I don't want the effectiveness modules running right now but just the assembler okay there I heard it kick in so everything's good I know it's running and I'm going to let's see I can actually put those things right back in there the ores if I just now I got silver and nickel I got that because when the server glitched, I created an object that had those in it and I took out just enough to recreate what I lost because of the server glitch. And like I said, that, and that's a pain when that happens. So, but I don't, I have not mined for those things yet. So that's why I've got those sitting there. And then there's just so many, I just drag those over and then I can just do the control shift and it'll pop over a thousand at a time. And then these are the extras. I just want those. Since this is up and running, I have these. I usually save the bullets because there's magnesium. If I disassemble those, I can keep those. If not, I can keep them for my gun, but there's really nothing to attack me. This is a private server, so I'm going to just dis disassemble them. Um, going down the road, if there's some pirate bases in outer space, it's kind of nice to have that because sometimes you can maybe, if you're lucky, shoot their guns, the Gatlin guns, um, but that's a pretty hard hit from far out. That's a whole different, that's different show. Okay, let's see where we're going. I am just yammering up a storm. Okay, we're gonna go to the production tab and I've already on disassembling and these are to be disassembled and I just hit disassemble all and everything that I put in there. Now, if I go back over to assembling, well, that I these are the things, if it's gray, that means I can actually assemble them. I may not be able to get much, but I can assemble them. And I don't know how many, I don't have a lot radio communication, so I can't build a large antenna with what I've got, but eventually I need to get silicon, and I already know where the silicone or silicon is, so uh, I can make a large antenna, which will really make the ore uh, finding a lot easier. And we'll get to that sometime in the near future after I get the main building up and bring in some silicon, then I can build that antenna with an ore detector, and you will see how that finds it. All right, um, real quick, in here, we're gonna rename a couple things just so I know what they are. Right now, the name of the base, this just, it's a default and it gives it a number of what it is. And static grid 5052, I am going to rename that. And if you click, oops, if you click on the info tab and you don't see this down here, that means you do not own it. It could be owned by somebody else uh, or it's friendly and you can take it over. But if it is, if you have something down here, then you can actually rename this. And we're just going to rename this. Optimus 1971. Base. And then we're going to click on OK. And if you'll see, we'll close out of this terminal. And then we'll actually go right back into it. And you'll, you can get that terminal access from anyone. If you can get that yellow glow on any of those. Now it says Optimus 1971's base. So now that's mine. Now we're gonna go through, I don't have yet. See, it tells me these aren't built, but we're gonna go ahead and turn off the assembler. And it's not the assembler two, we can actually rename that. We'll come over here and you can rename it to whatever you want. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. So I'd have very little power. And where's my refinery? Didn't I finish bringing over the refinery? Oh, I didn't. I didn't come over, I didn't bring over the rest of my uh, steel plates, didn't I? Yeah, it's all steel plates. I suppose I ought to go finish building that refinery. Let's bring up my welder. 
I'm like, my refinery's not showing up. That's why it's not showing up. So now I'll come back over to cargo container. And I have to go to the cargo container because I do not have a conveyor system hooked up. And I'm showing a negative on the steel plates. Hmm. So it might be time for a server. I'm not sure why that's doing that, uh, but we're gonna do a real quick reconnect. Um, it's showing negative. If I come back in here, they all, yeah, they're all still there. I don't like that. So we're gonna do a quick reset and have reconnected the game. And like I said, this game is still an alpha. It's I think it's close to beta. I really do. They're still doing a lot of additions, uh, and they're working on, um, um, well, what is the word when you try to make it run better? Optimizations. Uh, there's a long ways to go, but uh, the game is very much playable, very much fun. On the servers, are still kind of questionable, which kind of stinks sometimes yeah, that you'll get disconnected. All right, I gotta wait for it to load. Once I see something over here, and then I'll have the option to respawn at those bases. And we're gonna go down to the medical room. I've got Optimus 1971, you can see it, but I'm gonna rename the medical room so it makes it easier over here to see. Hit V to change my view, and lights. We're gonna bring over some lights next. Okay, now, oh, how about I turn on my lights? The world is still spawning around me. All right, I need to be, I need to be on one of these access points. There's one on this end for the refinery and we're actually gonna to go to control panel and here's the medical room. And I am just going to name that. Medical bay or infirmary or whatever you wanna call it. Now you have to have power um, to the medical bay or it, it will quit working on you and then you won't have a place to spawn. So you don't want to run out of power. So right now, since I have very little uranium, I need to be turning things off. And like I said, as long as I have control to it, I have access to everything on here. I just can't transfer them without that con without the uh, conveyor system in place. So I'm gonna turn the refinery off. I don't need that on and running right now. And that takes up a lot of power. So let's turn it back on. You'll see it over here. It says uh, required input right now is zero watts because I have it turned off max when it's running at full efficiency is 560 kilowatts so it's it's still not a huge one but i think while it's running I'm, I'm not sure if that increases or what let's just turn it back on real quick and right now it's just one kilowatt it's very little just sitting there <coughs> however over time that's still a leak as far as i'm concerned so we're going to turn that off for now and once i get enough steel plate saved back up then everything else in here is fairly simple Oops my helmet take my helmet off and I think I'm about to sneeze so you guys might get a big old at you uh, now we changed why is it saying helmet on again the helmet says it's off on the left that's the important one okay uh, you see the color of the refinery is the blue now we can change the difference of the color of that refinery and I kind of like a charcoal or a black the charcoal um, is uh, not so dark, but here again, as long as no matter what block you're on, as long as you're aimed at it, your your four square or four lines are aimed at it, you just center click and you get rid of it, and it changes that color. Now it's not an exact match to the the color wheel, but it's uh, pretty darn close. I like the uh, the black is a real nice accent with those yellows. And I kind of like the looks of that. And, you know, it's a dirty room. It's a dirty environment. So it's not going to be bright, super pretty clean and everything. They're refineries. I mean, they're going to be burning. So when it's all done, this will be a self-contained area so we don't pollute the, uh, the atmosphere. Don't want that. All right. So I've renamed the medical room. So if I die, I can come back here. I won't go to the ship anymore because there is no medical room in there. And uh, let's get rid of those things that I don't need right now. And I think I'm going to keep disassembling the ship. And I'm, you're not going to have to watch that. I'll keep recording while I disassemble the ship. 
and uh, then when I'm done, we are actually going to build a small uh, land craft and maybe a drill to get some of those ground level ones. 